You are listening to Savage Bites True Horror, Episode 4, Volume 1. I have a very vivid memory of waking up terrified in the middle of the night and running to my parents' room because I saw a ghost when I was a kid. He followed me and stared at me from the doorway as I crawled into their bed and hid under the covers. We looked at each other for a few minutes and then he left. I was so shaken that I stayed awake for the rest of the night until my parents woke up in the morning. I was an adult when I realised that it was not a ghost and actually someone scoping out our house in the middle of the night. 2. I was heading out to school back in 8th grade. I was walking toward the door to exit the house. I see the glass screen door in front of the main door open. I'm about two feet away from the door, and I saw the lock flick to open by itself. I immediately opened the door, and there was nobody there. Nobody on the sidewalk in front of the house. Nothing. That's my only paranormal experience, and I gotta say, thanks ghost for unlocking the door for me. 3. If you don't know about the Ever Dream This Man website that was circling a few years back. It was a website with an image of a balding man explaining how millions of people see him in their dreams every night. This is important for later. When I was 12, I used to sleep with my bedroom door open. I also have a bad habit of constantly waking up in the middle of the night due to insomnia. My bed was always up against the wall, so I'd either sleep facing the wall or looking out at the rest of the room. One night, I wake up as usual, facing the wall. I turn around to shift sleeping positions, and there's a face just floating in the doorway, staring at me, with a slight grin. I nope the fuck out and immediately turn back around, terrified beyond belief, too scared to do anything except close my eyes and hope I can fall asleep again, which I do relatively quickly. Now onto that man from earlier. I didn't know it at the time, but that man on the website looked remarkably similar to the brief glimpse I got in my bedroom doorway. If that wasn't freaky enough, a few months after visiting that site, a bit after that terrifying event, my dad calls my brother and I into the living room. He wants to know who printed out this image, and he shows it to us. It was a poster from that website. I distinctly remember I never hit print when I visited it, so no one had any idea where the fuck it came from. All I remember is being scared shitless, because I still had that disembodied face fresh in my mind, and I was convinced it was linked to that site somehow. After that, I've always slept with my door closed. The website later turned out to be a hoax, but the memory still lingers with me. 4. I was sleeping on a friend's couch when living in Phnom Penh, Cambodia. There the houses often have tiles that will go up the walls a few feet. I saw a shadow on the wall after my friend went to sleep and thought maybe his roommate had come home and was in the kitchen. I'm a curious little one, so I got up to walk into the kitchen to say something. And no one was there. But I could smell dirty human. Friends had laundry drying in front of a hole under the stairs. I could see a knee poking out from behind the drying clothing. I turned and ran into my friend's room, banging on his door, yelling about someone being in the house. In Cambodia, it's very common for break-ins. Most of my friends had things stolen from them while sleeping in their own homes, or while walking on the streets. The worst was smelling him before seeing him, and then knowing that someone could easily walk into a home without anyone knowing. If I hadn't been on the couch, or if I had already been asleep, things might have ended differently. 5. Mom died five months ago, and I moved across the state into her apartment to be closer to family. I swear I heard her call my name one night. It felt so natural hearing her voice in her own apartment. But she'd been dead over a month. I'm sure it was just a nearly asleep hallucination, but it was spooky. 
6. One night, I had a dream that a co-worker killed me with an axe. And when I got to work the next day, she was telling a fellow co-worker that she had a dream that she'd killed me with a knife. Sort of an odd coincidence. She never did try to kill me, but it was a little bit creepy. 7. My cousin and I were probably targeted for a scam, but I still don't know how or why. We are six years apart, but went to the same high school at different times. It was a small school, graduating classes, only about 60 pupils. Years later, we were on a road trip together several states away, and decided to stop at a huddle house for coffee. We walk in, and the guy at the next table turns around and smiles and says, You went to any town high school, right? When we say yes, he says, he and his girlfriend, also at the table, smiling and not talking, went there too. We didn't recognize them, but smiled politely, commented it was a small world. He starts to rapidly talk about different things from the school, just disjointed comments that were a bit odd. He talked like a salesman almost. At first, we smile and nod, but he had weird facts wrong. So we asked what year he graduated. He claimed not to remember, so we asked follow-up questions, and he gets cagey. Suddenly, the girlfriend goes, This isn't working. And they suddenly pay and leave, leaving their food untouched. We since have determined that they didn't go to our school, and have tried to figure out how he knew what he did, to no avail.